How you guys doing? This is my Honey Bee King 3. I'm just here with a little bit of info. Maybe a lot of you guys have done it before and everything, but I haven't seen a video on YouTube. So I figured let me make a quick video on YouTube and, you know, give people um, some helpful hints on their main blades whenever they chip and everything. As you could guys see, I'll show you guys real quick. This is my driveway. It's all cement and everything. So anything you know the helicopter goes like this a little bit at an angle whatever i've only had it for two months I, i'm only a beginner okay a matter of fact right now i'm only able to hover it and everything i haven't been able to fly it or anything you know i'm still learning um but anyway just to give you guys <clears throat> a quick uh, lesson i have some scotch tape here and um scissors and you are gonna need whether this happens to your blades or not okay you should get you could buy these on ebay there's a main blade balancer that's what this called and i'll show you guys how to use it real quick both these are spare blades okay that i have bought and the main blades these are the ones that i have on my helicopter they also chipped right here i have scotch tape on them there and on the bottom i don't know how good you guys can see it and here's the other one i have some scotch tape here i have some scotch tape here and on the bottom but don't worry about that because i'm going to show you guys that as long as you balance your blades okay with the scotch tape that i have on it it's going to work okay you shouldn't have any problems these are a uh, spare blade that i have as you can see it's all chipped right here and everything i already repaired them because you don't get much time on youtube but i'm going to show you them just balance them and you should be fine there's the other one okay it has some scotch tape there and there okay now let me put my camera down sorry for the quality of the picture okay let me just i'll show you guys put your blades like this together just take this stick it through here okay put the other side screw them together like so i always tap them like this to even them out you could use anything you could use two cups i've done it in my house with two cups or whatever here i have two cans i'm in my garage there i just put them there and as you can see they are pretty much there right now they're like still they're pretty much balanced okay as you can see there let me see let me bring them out see as you can see they are pretty much balanced okay and as long as you do that you're not gonna have any problems flying or hovering your helicopter and I'm gonna show you guys like I said the ones I have on my helicopter now are the same they're the same way I did order some new ones but I ordered them from Hong Kong and you know how that goes they usually take about two to three weeks I'm from New Jersey and to get here it takes about three weeks actually from three weeks to a month okay but though I, yeah, I could get them faster but you know I, I ordered a um, five sets you know and um hong kong is the cheapest place that i find them but anyway i'm gonna show you guys real quick i'm sorry about the video i don't have anybody to hold the camera so i'm gonna go and put it on top of my garbage can and then come back and i'll grab my transmitter stuff in the meantime let me put the helicopter on my driveway and hopefully like i said i'm still learning it's not gonna be nothing fancy it's just gonna be just to hover it hopefully nothing will happen here we go just bear with me okay just bear with me and sorry about the video i really don't have anybody right now you know to hold the camera there we go okay now i'll try to hover let me get the transmitter and i'll try to hover the phone
anyway hope that with this video you know with this hint it helps a lot of you guys as you can see um, okay you are able to uh, hover it with a little bit of scotch tape and the uh, blade uh, balancer hope this helps thanks for watching